What is up guys, how are we doing? Are you good? I'm good. I'm so excited to do this video today. Right, today I'm going to do full disclosure. I'm biased. I love Frozen the Musical. I've said this for so long. Well, interestingly, I like Frozen the Musical as opposed to, I'm not a huge fan of the movie, but I went to see Frozen Music a couple of weeks ago and then Frozen have since done, well actually they had two performances done before that and they did another performance there during the week on Good Morning America and I was thinking okay let's react to those three performances because now I've got three performances to react to so I'm going to do that today because <laughs> why not? Right so the first one, if I can get it going, okay first one I'm going to react to is For the First Time in Forever and I adore this song straight up, so let's just go straight into it. Oh, I love the set. Patty Marin. Surprised me how good she was in the show. I just, I love her now. I love the colours, I love how like blue and dark it is. So cute. She's so cute. She's so animated. She actually, do you know what? When I listened to the cast recording, I was like, her voice doesn't agree with the role of Anna. But when you see her live, it all makes sense. Now I'm a fan. I couldn't fault one bit about the visual aspect of the show. I love. I just don't understand the negativity towards it. I really don't. A dress. The only thing going against Patty Murn is that she doesn't look very young as Anna. But she can act it and sing it. So I guess. I'll do it. I'll take it. I love her. It's kind of funny to watch this performance now after seeing it live. Obviously, I saw the show weeks ago, so it's kind of it's kind of weird now watching the actual performance of what I saw, not the exact performance. But you know what I mean, she kind of is a perfect Anna, really. She really kind of is perfect. Erica Hennington for Anna, though, how perfect would she be? Perfect in the role. And Taylor Lautman is um, Elsa. Boom. I want my coins for that inspired casting. There's mother. Casey Levy. She looks gorgeous. Mama. I love this moment. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love how diverse the cast is as well. There's so many people of different colors, of sizes. It's just very modern, in the best way possible. The pub tree for Sven is just phenomenal, it's crazy good, crazy good. The orchestrations are beautiful, they're so, so great. The girl can belt, she's got some pipes on her. Yeah. I adore that number. It's one of my favorite shows, and I'm in the show. I adore it so much. Right, so next one we're going to do is Let It Go, which I know. <laughs> okay, I need a minute to think. Because <laughs> Casey's going to kill me. Here we go. The only weird thing about this, where it's placed in the show, is obviously it has to be the Act 1 finale. But it happened so quick, I think it was like an hour into the show. Like, I remember thinking, oh my god, the. That's the first act over already. But I mean, they could not end it on any other song, but let it go. Looking like a queen. Look like a snack. She's looking like a snack. I said it before, like I'm obsessed with all the, the colour tone of the musical, like the blues, the almost purples and blacks. It's just perfect. I'm happy it's not like colourful and animated if you get me. I like how they've taken a like, more darker approach to it. <laughs> These people screaming. I beg. 
Now, if I had been invited to a free performance of Frozen, I'd be screaming and hollering as well, but this didn't happen when I was at the show. <laughs> Nobody was screaming like this. She's just effortlessly perfect. Now this, I'm obsessed with all this work that they did with the proscenium, all these lights, fixtures in the proscenium. It's, while it looks good here, it's 10 times better in person. It's beautiful in person. Oh, it's just, it, that's me, is magic, like it's magic. I remember just being covered in um, goosebumps watching this entire performance. And for people saying it's not enough, shut up. Pack it in. It's just perfect. All oh, these people moaning that we didn't get a staircase. Oh my god, let the girls sing. I'd rather an actress who can belt the song and absolutely kill it than a bloody staircase. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Here we go. My favorite moment. Well. Where'd my wig go? And we'll be in the front. I love that note she sings. Oh. Text go away. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, my language, absolutely just fantastic. Yeah, I cannot fault any of that performance. I don't understand anyone who can fault that performance. If you have an issue with that performance, you're just stupid. Um, I love everything about this show right now. But I have one more performance to go. This performance, Love is an Open Door, which I actually adored this song also. I think it's another brilliant song from the show. Um, I kind of wish though they'd done one of the new songs from the musical as like a national performance because there's some great new songs in the show and like I wish they'd done True Love um, but I'm gonna watch Love is an Open Door because I just think it's... This performance was only this week as well so let's get into it. Okay let's start. It's gonna play for me. Y'all gonna play for me? All these purples are purple. Yeah. This is really where Patty Murren shines, like where she really plays quirky and like Anna. The two of them are so cute together. So cute. Where's her hand going? Lord knows I'd do it. My hand would be straight down south. Such a cute song though, it's always been a fantastic song. They both sound fantastic. I love the choreography here. I love the addition of like all these extra um, orchestrations for the for this choreography. It's just perfect. It really, really, really helps build towards their relationship. Plus, it's hilarious. That dress looks beautiful, David. You know what I mean. I remember reading this thing where Patty was saying that her, she tweeted something that her dress is like super heavy, which I totally believe. And that she was saying that basically like everything is like going against these two to actually make this whole choreography and dance break happen. So she was like, it's just amazing that we could pull it all together and make it work. And I believe her because. It's not exactly easy to dance in those kind of costumes. <laughs> oh, I love these two. See, so much of this will go over the kids' heads. Like, they won't pick up on this, but I'm digging this because I'm an adult, apparently. Right, so that is me after watching the three Good Morning America performances. As I said before, like, I adore this show. I think if you go into the show, you're gonna have such a fantastic time. I understand it's a Disney musical. I think that's where a lot of the 
issues come from or the negative view towards the show because people are like oh it's a Disney show it's going to be crap but I disagree um, I think it's the best of the Disney shows well maybe the second best after Newsies but it's definitely the best on Broadway right now because I've seen all three Aladdin Frozen what's the other one The Lion King without a doubt Frozen is the best one um, so yeah I really enjoyed it I want to go see the show again. So with that, I'm going to finish this there. I'm not going to mumble on anymore. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to follow me on my social media, which I'll post somewhere around here. We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>